Hey, good morning, everyone. As we are uh, back again on this uh, this morning for another three minutes with God, still continuing in uh, Psalm 127. Uh, this morning will be in verse two. So let's go ahead and start the timer. So Psalms 127, verse number two says, it is in vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows for he, for so he gives his beloved sleep. Um, and what Solomon is, is, is saying, um, here to us in these, in this verse is, um, that it does, you no know, good to, uh, to be a workaholic, to, uh, work and work and work and work and work, uh, for a, particular uh, goal or particular um, promotion or to achieve um, maybe X, Y, and Z annual salary um, because if you are working just for those particular reasons, then you will never feel fulfilled. And um, the thing is, is that more will always be the outcome and you will never be satisfied. And, um, and so basically what he's saying, it's, it's, it's one of those things as you know, we have, um, you know, people work and to, because they, because they have an internal void and an internal unhappiness that they think that things will or money so to speak will feel that void and feel that happiness and so you have people who like i say just work two three four jobs just to make more money thinking that the more money that they have will bring them uh, happiness but they uh, soon to realize the more money you make the um that that void is never filled and they what they're trying to do is feel a uh, a god-sized void with money and it's never going to work and then you may have those who think that it's not the money it may be possessions and so you you know will work and work and work just to get more possessions more things more more houses more property more cars more uh clothes and jewelry and all of these different things but at the same time the more that they buy the more that they want because it's never you're never fulfilled and that's what Solomon is saying it's in vain for you to rise up early and to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrows and and then you have those who who are working uh, two three four jobs just to keep a roof over their head to put food on their table and with those it's one of those things as uh, it seems like the harder they work, the further they get behind. And then sooner or later you will begin, that person will begin to resent uh, their work. And it's, it's just one of those things as we see with all of these examples that um, people are putting things and uh, other things before God and to, um, to, to rely on that to bring them happiness and, and uh, things. And, and, uh, what I'm not saying is, you know, to that it's in vain for you to go to work, to make a living, to want things. But it's, it's one of those things as if your basis and uh, for success is to have to have things and to have money, then you're putting your trust and your faith in the wrong thing. Um, and and what he's as well, I'll leave you today. What he does say at the end of this verse is that God will give you rest, um, that he says for he, for so, for, so he gives his beloved sleep. So it's one of those things that God will give you rest that God, if you put your trust and your hope and your focus on God and in God, then you can go to work and go home and go to bed at night. You can, and you don't have to sit up pacing in the floor because you know that you can rest because your God is still up watching. So God bless you and have a great day.